You know, now that I think about it, I'm quite a rebellious person. Um, there's been a few occasions that I have been quite the rebellious type. And this, these videos, I mean, th these times, I haven't really discussed about because most of my videos are about something kind of in, in, but you know, things going around the world, going on around the world, kind of, uh, I talk about usually, um, I guess you can say more relevant and not so as personal videos or topics on my videos on my um, Justin Does series I've been up to for the past week, if not two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. But um, I just wanted to go over some more personal things, and that is of how a rebellious person I am. So, we can start with just... Just, I mean, I have a actually really good memory, so I can remember a lot of my childhood and really just re re recite the events of my childhood. And the farthest back memory of me being rebellious I can possibly come up with was at preschool. Well, and I can remember this. This was years ago. Preschool. And I do remember it. <clears throat> I was in preschool in about early 2000s, maybe around there, if not 1998, 1999, probably around somewhere like that. When I was a kid, I liked to play with my hands and make them talk like that. I also played with my hands on my back, you know. This would be one, and then this would be two, and one and two would talk to each other and go on adventures. I was young at the time, and, you know, that's how I did. I remember once, my preschool teacher was, was teaching us about shapes, I believe it was, and colors, you know. And when everyone else was having class, I was playing with my little hand characters, you know, making them talk and... Well, one was talking to two, and then they'd fight a giant dinosaur. So I think that's what I did for a dinosaur, like a kind of like a you know, chompers. And I didn't care about learning. I just wanted to play, and I really did show that. And my teacher, of course, got on to me. Justin, I'm trying to learn. And she said, don't roll your eyes at me, because I'll roll my eyes at her, him, or it. Another occasion I can remember being rebellious is a time I had to, I had to give my cousins a ride on my truck. It was a little toy truck that kids could drive. And I would, I'm usually quite clever with my rebellious acts. So whenever my cousins came, I, I purposely parked my M1 puddle, so whenever my cousins came to get in the passenger seat of my little truck, I floored it and they'd fall in the mud. I was a genius, I thought. So very clever. That is until my grandfather jumped off the porch and came after me with a belt and I believe it was his left hand sprinting at me. This guy was a military veteran Vietnam. So what I'm trying to do is pretty much dash away with my truck. This thing's battery probably pushed it about two miles an hour. I thought I was gonna escape. He was on foot, I was on vehicle. He pulled me up and probably gave me about more spankings I've ever had in my whole life. <clears throat> Couldn't explain to you that kind of pain. That didn't teach me how to stop being rebellious. In fifth grade, I remember being a little bit rebellious in class. Um, and I think I've made plenty of um, 
plenty of mental progress since the fifth grade. But I was trying to be the cool kid. You know. <clears throat> there was times I would, people would be into one subject and I would purposely be in another subject just to be rebellious. There was there was one time I think we were camping, this wasn't too long ago. And there was a little swimming pool, and all the kids were pretty much jumping on my back, pushing me under the water. And it got fun, I was throwing them around, you know, they were small. It eventually got irritating, and I ended up injuring my ankle. From that irritation, I, go, I went back. I went back to camp and I ate a hot dog. It wasn't just a hot dog. So you had the Boy Scouts hot dogs and you had you have you had the adult hot dogs or the other people's hot dogs. Well I snuck and ate one of their hot dogs just so I could some way I guess make everyone pay the punishment of kind of this unfair treatment to me. But and then my dad said well, why'd you eat our hot dog? I, I tried to explain it to him, but all he got out of the story was, I hurt my ankle. His response was, well, you are clumsy. Um, no, he, that's my dad for you. He, he doesn't, he, he's not very, he's never been the best to me, but, you know, it is what it is. He, he, you know, but, um, the, but there's plenty of other times I have just been a very rebellious child for the sake of either getting revenge, which is multiple times in my childhood, or anything. I mean, I remember when I was a little kid, me and my friend, well, I can't remember who it was. Some people were playing, it was with my friends at, at the playground, and they were playing <clears throat> tag, no hides, it was tag, I'm not sure, but this was probably, I think it was kindergarten or first grade, and they asked, well, Justin, would you like to play? I said, sure, I'll play with you guys, that'd be awesome. Well. I wanted to play, but me usually being the different from the crowd, I wanted to be a Velociraptor. So, like, I would pretend to be a Velociraptor when playing with them. And pretty much their response was, no, you gotta play normal. We pretty much had this huge argument, and I got what I wanted. I got to be a Velociraptor uh, when playing tag on the playground. And then, I think, the whole P.E. ended up playing Catch and Kill the Velociraptor. Anyways, I was the hero of the show. Because all the kids lined themselves up, kind of tried to march to me and try to defeat the raptor. Well, I was a pretty weird kid. I mean, when I used to play baseball, I would pretend to be Super Mario. So, there's that. But, you know, that's just in my own nature. Always quite rebellious. I like things done my way, obviously. And I enjoy kind of, you know, getting things my way out of an authority. So, there's... The occasions that, you know, me personally, just have been, I've just been rebellious and kind of, you know, just out of the ordinary from the people I've, I've been around. I've played so much more times too, believe me. Just not remembering on spot and, and I don't have enough time to mention <clears throat> all of it. I remember there was a time, I will add this one last one before my video gets too long and it ends, uh, and ends over. Uh, I was at, I think it was Thanksgiving, and 
we had to eat all of our food to get a cookie at the end. I'm not sure what it was, but I ended up arguing with them, and they told me, well, you won't get a cookie then. You know, so, me being me, they had some candles lit, and I threatened to burn the house down with the candles. And, or, you know, I was going to go through me usually th with my mindset, you know, if I'm mad, then all will be punished. But that's just, you know. So, well, I never burnt any houses down, but I think that one deserved to be heard. Since I'm doing a video on this. So, there's me for you. Um, I'm pretty rebellious. If I do any more personal videos, I'm not sure. You know, I might. But, you know, there's just a handful of times I've been rebellious. I may do a video of how times I've been different from the crowd, which is probably a lot of my life. That'll be a lot longer than this one, though. Anyways, uh, have a good day for those who are, re are, are viewing this video. Peace out. <laughs>